Hi there, I'm Chris Gadd and in this video I'm going to show you how to access grades for assessment tasks on Schoology, particularly grades that have been marked using a rubric so that you can see a grade for each criterion that the assessment task was marked, marked on. So I've already logged in as a parent, I'm logged in as test parent, and um, the first thing you need to do if you have more than one child uh, in Schoology then you need to make sure that you're seeing your uh, seeing the correct child's results. So up here I can see test student, that's the right name. If you've got uh, the wrong name there, you can just click the drop down list and you should see a list of all your children. You just click on the one that you want to see right now. So we want to see test students grades. So the logical first step is to go to grades in the left menu here. When we click on that, it will bring up a list of all of the subjects that test student is enrolled in. You can see a bit of an eclectic mix right from year 7 up to year 12. Um, for this tutorial, we'll have a look at year 10 English. As soon as I click on that, I get a list of all the graded assessments uh, that have been done on Schoology for this year. Teachers can set up different categories, so I've got a category for coursework. Uh, at the moment we're interested in looking at graded assessments. You can see we've had three assessment tasks so far this year. Each one has a name on the left hand side. Over here on the right hand side there's an overall comment. You can see I've been highly critical of poor, poor test student. I promise to give more helpful and meaningful uh, comments for your children. So the first thing you can see is the assessment task and an overall, um, an overall comment for that task. We also have a numerical grade here. Um, I've been marking the first two against the Australian curriculum, which can be very confusing if you're not familiar with it. It sort of gives um, a sense of progression from prep right up to, uh, to year 10 and eventually to year 12. The highest grade that a year 10 student can receive is 10.5, which shows that they're basically 18 months ahead of where they should be at the start of year year 10. So um, test student has received a 9.5 and a 9. You might not know exactly what that means. If you hover your mouse over it, however, it tells you. So 9.5 indicates that test student is at the expected standard. Uh, so you can do that for those grades as well. Hover your mouse over and you'll see um, you'll see what that means. So 9, 9.0 means at the expected standard. For the task that I'm particularly interested in today, the issues presentation, uh, you've got a score of 12 out of 25. Now that number is completely meaningless. Uh, it doesn't mean that test student received less than 50% and has failed it. It doesn't mean anything like that. It's totally meaningless. I wish I could cut it out, but um, Schoology doesn't allow me to. It has to display a number. What is very meaningful, however, is if I click on this little grid icon, I'll see how test performed on every single criterion that they were being assessed against. So I can click on that grid icon, and here it is each criteria that this assessment task was evaluated against. Three is the middle. It goes from one up to five. Three is the middle. And three indicates at the expected standard. If your child has received threes down the line, that means they are performing exactly where we would expect or want a year 10 student to perform at this point in the year. So I can look at each criterion, uh, for example, introduction to the issue. Now this one's a bit confusing because it was a um, group assignment. This student actually wasn't assessed against the first criteria, their partner was, and that's fine. You can see that there's no indication anywhere, so that one's just left out, and that's okay. But going down the list, uh, let's look at this one. Presentation of a considered point of view. I want to know how this student performed on that. Well, they performed three, so that's at the expected standard. And you can actually read the description here. A clear opinion is stated and supported. The arguments from different sides of the issue are, are evaluated to draw this conclusion. So that's what this child was able to do. That's a good job. And I can see that they, they met that standard. 
Of course, if they got a 5, that means they performed well above the expected standard, and you can read that description as well. On this criterion, you can see they performed above the expected standard. They got higher than a 3, not quite well above the expected standard, but they performed above the expected standard. So they got a 4 between these two descriptors. And also notice on the right here, there's a little speech bubble. And for some criteria, teachers will leave feedback, um, specific comments. All you have to do is hover your mouse, and you can see all I've written here is, wow, you're amazing. There could be other um, comments or feedback provided there as well. So by having a look at this, you can get a really detailed and comprehensive look at where your child performed well and where they performed poorly on this specific assessment task. Hopefully this will provide a good basis for discussion with your child. Uh, you can evaluate their learning progress and help them to set goals based on this. I hope you found that helpful and of course you can email me if you need any other help. Thanks for watching.